Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel. My name is Emilio Suarez. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, my work or to be precise, what exactly is going on right now in my life with writing because I think this can help a lot of people or maybe just a very small niche of people. But that doesn't mean it's not occurring around the world. So maybe this could help. And uh, what I'm going on right now is going to be some kind of a diary. But I have the opportunity to write a screenplay with the probability to uh, be made in a film, which is something that I'm pretty sure everybody wants. Now, here's the thing with my process of, of writing. I'm not very disciplined in the writing process. And it's weird because, well, I have a YouTube channel and I try to give um, some suggestions of how to write certain things. But that doesn't mean knowing certain things doesn't mean that you don't get kind of lazy writing and th that's my main point with myself i'm extremely lazy and well the only way to fix that is just start writing and more with this kind of opportunity okay here's what's going on i have uh i've been presented with the opportunity to write for a lot of actors and we already have the location for that. We need just, of course, the screenplay and present the screenplay. And well, uh, I don't know if, uh, if my screenplay is going to be elected for production. But you're never going to know that if you don't write something and present it. So I have the opportunity to have a couple of days off in the week. And I know there's a lot of people that don't have that that life. That maybe they work five days, six days a week and their days off they have to be concerned with other things like their family or children or others, other kind of jobs because well, one job is not enough. And sometimes you as a writer only have maybe an hour, two hours, three hours four hours a week uh, for yourself and one of the things that I used to do and I recently was doing is that I always had an, ex uh, an excuse like how is that screenplay going oh well I'm this is me talking oh uh, well I'm kind of um, playing with the ideas yet uh, I have to be very uh, sure of what I'm going to write, what the storyline is going to be and all of that. And that's great. That works for a lot of people and works in part uh, for me also. But I need to, uh, to write something. And what I usually do, it's in my days off, I start rambling with ideas about what can I do and that's great and if it works for you perfect don't change anything unless you think you maybe want to change something to to be more productive but I'm not being productive and just having ideas I need to write so I try to f fix that with myself I try to uh, I'm trying right now to be more disciplined in writing because you never know when somebody's going to be asking you for a screenplay, which happened to me a couple of weeks ago and it didn't have anything because I usually write when I feel like writing or um, if I don't have anything and to do and just want to write a very short story like a short film well I write it and then I present it to uh, my extremely extremely small company and my friends of course and we talk about it and if we have the money well we we do it but right now this project can be bigger 
than those other projects, so I have to take advantage of that. This is something that I think it's working for me right now and maybe can help you also. The notes, all the ideas that just come to your head, don't, don't work on those ideas on your days off or on your hours off, okay? When you have, let's say you just have one complete day, like let's say eight hours a week just for you to do whatever you want. And you use those eight hours to just ramble with ideas. Maybe you don't have anything at all, anything at all. But you have some things. In, the, in my case, I have the actors and I have a place. So I have to start writing something. And I know I should be writing a comedy. So let's write a comedy. So I have a lot uh, there. Um, use those free hours to write your screenplay. Now. Maybe for a lot of people, they're going to be like, you start writing right now. You don't even know where you're going to be writing. What if it's going wrong? Well, I never said that that was going to be the final draft of your screenplay. But for me, it's easier to have a screenplay, even if it's just all crap, and then work on it. For me, it's easier to have it all on paper or on the computer and then fix things inside of what is already being made than just have a blank page. What I'm doing is using the moments that I'm working, my, my job, the job that pays for the bills, to work on my ideas. Now, be careful with this. I'm not saying don't <laughs> forget about the job that pays for your bills and start working on your own things but I have the opportunity to sometimes for a couple of minutes or seconds, I always have papers around and most of it posted. So if I'm working and my work is very mechanical, so I have to be very precise on what I'm doing, but sometimes I just enter in data. So if something comes to my mind, I can have a post-it or a piece of paper or whatever, maybe my cell phone, because I have the opportunity to have also my cell phone. I'm, I'm not use, I, I don't use it when I'm working, but I have it around me. So I can record something fast in my cell phone and then leave it there and keep on working or just make an annotation in a piece of paper. I'm not saying that you start just writing your screenplay while you're working. I'm saying if you have an idea or something or I thought about doing this kind of scene, but it would ber uh, work better if I change the characters. Then I just make an uh, annotation, change the characters on the scene about the fight, for, for giving an example. When you don't have a lot of time for yourself, use those moments to come up and make annotations if you can, of course about the ideas that you have for your screenplay. Don't do that in the moments that you have more time for yourself because you're never going to write anything. That happens to me. Maybe it's better for you uh, to use those free hours or days to work on notes or work on annotations and once you have everything because you work faster that way and it works for you, that would be great. If I can do that, I, I will do it. But I just get so distracted in my head with ideas and not with what I'm writing in the moment. So I try to put the ideas outside and just start filling my screenplay, my blank page with situations, with what's going on, with how the... Um, the screenplay is going to look at the end. And in that process, once I have everything, then I work on the ideas. Or because I have the idea already written before, I remember I was going to do something about uh, this fight. I'm going to change character. Let's change characters now. Now, what happened 
if for example you already have the characters through you have written 30 pages and you have those two characters that are gonna fight later and you have an annotation to change those characters then, then you have to kind of rewrite everything okay it doesn't matter just keep on writing keep on going forward if you need to stop because you're a perfectionist or whatever and you need to have everything clear before and that's the only one that you can work with then do it that way but for me it's more important to have everything already written in a screenplay than just start fixing the first 10 pages and going back again fixing them again because I have another idea or maybe this would work better and I just got stuck in those 10 pages for months and I never do anything else okay so what I'm trying now and this is something that I'm just trying okay so I, I think it's interesting to talk about these things on YouTube because maybe you can give me some pointers also because I, I'm not here only to give pointers to you the, 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 the thing here is just to have conversations so I'm trying this right now I, it's only been a couple of days but I have written a little bit more in my free time than before uh, when I go uh, for uh, for, ex uh, for doing exercise, uh, like walking or running, I'm always thinking about things. So I try to, to get all those things together in one annotation. And when I get home and it's time to just work on the screenplay, I incorporate those annotations. Other thing that it's happening to me is that I got stuck in page uh, seven. A couple of days ago and I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to create the dialogue between certain characters but it was pretty sure what I want to do with a scene like, like I don't know like 10 pages later or something like that I just make an annotation in my screenplay saying fill this uh, finish this later or I'm gonna finish this later, I have to keep on working on something else. So I start writing the scene that I have more clear in my head. And once you put that there, then you only need to work backwards about, well, I, I have this and I love what I did this and I love what, because sometimes we get, um, we get that, that muse, as we call it, for certain aspects of the story that are not in the right order. That doesn't matter. Write in any order that you want. You have the ending already, write it and structure it. If that gives you um, the energy and the motivation to write, then write it. Write it in the same screenplay or write it apart or however it works with your own psychology but write something and then just start filling those blanks not with anything you need just to get from point A to point B because I'm a very true believer that everything in the screenplay is worth having it in a screenplay if you just are feeling things to connect one scene with the other then that part that is connecting is not gonna hold up for a long time so I'm trying that now. I have written more, not a lot, maybe a couple of lines more, but it have kept me writing. And I want to finish this as soon as I can, because as soon as I have the complete screenplay, so I can take that first crappy draft and pass it forward uh, to some colleagues, they can give me pointers while I'm rewriting the screenplay and maybe we can present a pitch about that screenplay to somebody so you have more motivation to write and you're gonna your head's gonna get clearer um this is not something that is gonna work for everybody okay but it's an idea in case you have that kind of trouble my trouble is based more 
because I love to write, I love to create stories, but I love more to think about the stories than writing them because it's a lot of work. I love creating stories, but I'm very lazy writing them. And sometimes for writing a short story, it could take me months, months. Um, either because I just wrote, wrote something and a couple of weeks passed and I haven't written anything until somebody tell me, hey, the, the date is getting closer, so you have to move on and write it and start writing. And I have done that a couple of times in my past, and I want to fix that. And I'm trying to do that with other kinds of tricks to my head so I can write better and be more disciplined to write. I want to get to a point where I can write every single day. It doesn't matter what it is. Just write something so you can have uh, products already made either in your computer or uh, printed and you have them in the uh, back of your car or whatever in case somebody asks for something. In case anybody knows that you're a screenwriter and tells you, hey, do you have something, maybe a drama, a personal story, um, a full length film, a uh, screenplay? So you can say, yeah, I have a couple. Uh, I'm gonna give you. Or maybe you don't have anything because you didn't enjoy writing those kinds of stories and you write more maybe horror and science fiction. And you can say, I don't have anything on that, but I have some horror and science fiction uh, screenplays written. Always have something in case, okay? Because in computer, it's not going to hold uh, take too much space. Anyway, you can have it in your cell phone anywhere and you can pass it on to whoever you want. But for that, you need to write every single day. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I know I'm taking time for me for writing to just create this video, but I think it's a very good uh, thing to talk about. I'm not saying this is a great video, but I'm saying it's a very good point for a lot of people that maybe don't feel like writing or don't know how to structure themselves in writing. And I wanted to take something that I'm working on right now so you can try it in case it works for you. I hope this has helped you in some way. And if you have any recommendations for either myself or any other person that watches these videos, just write them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Gracias, YouTube.